What's up guys, X-Man and Co here and today we're making lamb pinwheels. Who doesn't like lamb and pinwheels with amazing stuffing, it's going to be great. Now before we make these beautiful pinwheels, let's look at all the ingredients that we've got here. We've got some cured pochetta, baby spinach leaves, provolone cheese, some crushed garlic, paprika, whole grain mustard, salt and pepper to taste and then some beautiful pepper dews. Guys, this is seriously going to be amazing. Let's start this cook. Okay, before we start this cook, let me introduce you to the star of the show. Guys, obviously for something like this, we need a beautiful piece of lamb. Have a look at that. We're going to use lamb ribs today. We've deboned it, as you guys can see. Have a look at that. That's where the ribs used to be, and that's our fat cap. Now, with any kind of meat, we decide how much fat we want to remove. And we're going to remove a little bit, although fat is flavor. Now, guys, remember one thing. We don't want to square it up, although we're going to make some beautiful pinwheels today. After we rolled it, that's the right moment to square it up. And this is entirely up to you how much fat you want to remove. Once we're happy with the amount of fat that we removed, then it's time to season this bad boy. We're going to spice on the inside of this beautiful piece of meat. Because it's pinwheels, it's not going to matter. There's going to be enough spice all around. So let's go ahead. We're going to start off with our whole grain mustard. Just going to add a little bit of that. You want to make sure that there's enough to cover the whole piece of meat. Obviously, guys, if you want less, use less. This stage, we know that this is going to be a nice sticking agent and it's really going to be beautiful. Some paprika to taste. Once again, this is going to give us beautiful smokiness. Now guys, on to the crushed garlic. We love garlic and garlic's definitely also going to infuse this and give it that nice texture that we're after, that garlicky flavor. We love salt and pepper, so we're going to add quite a bit of that. Guys, we're going to go with some sweet picante peppers. We just love these things. They're really beautiful, mild whole sweet picante peppers. It's time to move over to our cured prosciutto. We're going to use all five pieces. We're going to start at one end, leave a little bit of space before you start. We're going to add this last piece in the middle. Then it's time for our cheese. Now we're using provolone cheese here today. It's going to be amazing. And then last but not least, we're going to use some beautiful baby spinach leaves. What do you think, Go? Looks amazing. We happy with this, Go? Good? Yes. Cool. You want to make sure, guys, that this is rolled so tight as possible. Remember, we want some pinwheels, so we want to make sure that it's really going to be nice and firm all the way. That looks absolutely amazing. You want to also make sure where your meat ends, that's where you want to put your skewer through. So let's start off with that one there. We're just going to put one on each end just to hold it in place. Right, guys, you just want to decide how thick you want your skewers. And then straight in the middle, you're going to put a few skewers through. Just make sure you space them evenly to the size that you guys want to use. There you go. And then just push it through completely. There you go. Of course, the ones in the middle is going to be nice and tight. As you can see at the end of this beautiful roll, it's not going to be as tight as the middle ones. But it doesn't matter. It's all going to be so tasty and well worth it. There you go, guys. That's what you should have at the end. Let's cut them up. First, you want to just square it up nicely here on the one side. And then you want to cut straight down the middle. As you guys can see, the ends might be a bit loose. Don't stress about that. We can fix that in a bit. Let's move over to the rest. And guys, that's what you're after. Beautiful pinwheels. Fantastic. Go ahead, cut the rest of them. Now it's time to start the fire. We're using quality lump with charcoal. Just gonna get that ashed over, nice and hot. And then it's time to grill these bad boys. On the fire they go, guys. As you can see, you might notice that I've cut the skewers, just the ends off, so there's more space in the brine. Otherwise, they might just interfere. Now another tip, you could put the skewers in water before you use them, half an hour, some oaks go 
12 hours just to make sure they don't catch fire. We're not too worried about it at this stage as we're not going to play in the direct fire. You want to use medium heat and gas. this is going to take about 10 minutes. Nothing less at this stage. If so some oaks might like it medium well. We're going to go for just before well. We also like to add some lemon juice. Now guys, it's entirely up to you if you do add that. We just believe with lamb, lemon juice really goes very well. So you want to make sure that you're on a medium heat and you want to keep on turning them just to make sure that they don't burn. Guys, moment of truth. It was about 15 minutes on the open fire. We regulated it the whole time, made sure that the heat is not overpowering. It looks amazing. Now, I think it's time to dig in. Have a look at this bad boy. Guys, just have a look how juicy this is. It is quite amazing. We're so excited. Let's dig in. It's time. Guys, that moment of truth. Oh, wow. This is absolutely divine. I thought it's going to be tough. Remember, lamb rip normally needs to go low and slow. Guys, this is tender. Not what I expected, to be honest. Maybe something in the future to do is low and slow. But at this stage, this is absolutely amazing. The pairing of the bruschetta, the cheese, and the baby spinach, and the garlics coming through beautifully. Really go and try this. If you want to try low and slow, comment below. Let us know how that went. I'm sure that will elevate it to another level. Now, I think we need to ask Ko what she thinks about this. There you go. Ko, try it out. Oh, wow. Amazing. Co loves it. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Guys, you know the story. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.